The really interesting property about TypeScript is that it's kind of meant to disappear. If you run TypeScript on your TypeScript project, it just turns itself into JavaScript. It vanishes into the wind. Why would it do that? Why is it interested in having that behavior? Well, first of all, it makes it really pain-free to adopt because you know that you can always get out of it. But usually people who get in it don't tend to get out of it. Once you go TypeScript, you don't tend to go back. But it's kind of interesting for its future too because TypeScript does a lot of support for JavaScript itself. And it always has felt to me like the actual .ts files is kind of just an implementation detail. The TypeScript. I think what the TypeScript team really want is to improve JavaScript, or at least that's the feeling I get. And adding types into the language is just a kind of way to speed that process up. Because without types, you can't have autocomplete. Without types, you can't have sensible errors in your IDE. And so actually, TypeScript itself disappearing is pretty rare, I think. If you look at the front end landscape, when you get into a front-end framework like React, like Angular, like Vue, their syntaxes are so unique to themselves that you can't really eject from there. There's no ejector seat in React. But TypeScript is just a little layer on top of your JavaScript that can sort of vanish at any time, just a little mirage. And I think what it's doing, what TypeScript is doing, is it's getting itself ready for a future where it doesn't need to exist anymore. If you look at the way that the TypeScript team is participating in the evolution of JavaScript, you know, Daniel Rosenwasser is on the CC39 committee, then I think one day we will have a future where TypeScript doesn't exist. And I think that's because JavaScript itself will have either adopted types or have made space in the language where you can add types. And then TypeScript will just be a CLI that you run to just check that your JavaScript is running OK. And I think that the days of writing .ts files might be numbered. I think it's a big number, but they might be numbered.